Hi friends, welcome to sakalavidya.com. Myself, Shivaramakrishna Sharma. In our last episode, we have discussed about introduction to our steel structures. In this particular session, we are going to start our next chapter that is chapter 2, the design of fillet wells. So, design of fillet wells as per your syllabus it is having weightage of 13 marks. So, one we get one short answer for 3 marks and one long answer for 10 marks. The total weightage of this lesson chapter 2 is 13 marks. So, before starting our next chapter, let us recap our concepts that we have learnt in our first chapter. In our first chapter, we have learnt introduction to our steel structures, what are the physical and mechanical properties, what are the merits and demerits that is advantages and disadvantages of using of your steel structures, various physical properties and mechanical properties and load combinations etc. So, in this session, let us discuss about the design of fillet wells. Before starting our this session, please make sure that your internet speed is of high quality. If you are having any issues with the quality of video, please watch our videos in 1080 HD and use high quality of internet speed. So, we are getting many issues regarding the quality of video. So, please maintain high quality internet speed and watch our video in 1080 HD for better outputs or better results. So, if you are having any doubts and queries, please put in the comment section. You can also follow us on our Facebook page that is sakalavidya.com. If you are having any queries, you can also mail to us mytutorpedia at the rate of gmail.com. In order to understand the concept of this lesson, let us take a small example. The small example is connecting a two metal rods together. The two metal rods, is it possible to connect together by means of a glue, gum, fevicol or a cement? Is it really possible? Think once. I think the two metal rods cannot be connected together by means of the things which I mentioned above. So, we have to use other connectors, those connectors like welding, bolting, riveting and pins. So, these two metal rods can be easily connected by process of welding as it is a hollow section, you can directly use welding. The sections which are flat, angular sections, so we must use welds. At one particular section, you have to use bolts and pins, etc. So, let us discuss about what are the various types of connectors that we are going to use in our this chapter that is reason of fillet wells. So, as per your chapter, you are, we are confined to only fillets that is weld, fillet wells, but in your upcoming sessions or in your BTEC level or MTEC, you are going to discuss about bolts, rivets, pins, etc. But in this session, let us discuss about wells. The various types of the various types of steel structures like tension members, compression members, and flexural members. All these three structures are connected together by means of connectors. So, they are connected by means of connectors. The various types of connectors we have First one is rivets, second one is bolts, third one is well, the last one is pins. So, the various types of steel structures like tension members, compression members and flexion members are connected together by means of connectors. So, what are those connectors? Those connectors are as follows, they are rivets, bolts, wells and pins. So, what are the tension members? So, what are the examples for tension members? So, for example, if you consider a building, in building braced elements are called as connector members. So, 
so this is an example for a building so these are braced elements braced elements so these are all tension members whereas in your bridge arch or in industry is also a tension members so what are the examples for your compression members columns examples for your compression members columns what are flexion members in flexion members directly compression members compression force along with the tension force acts together so the best example for your flexion members is beams so tension members in tension members are those structures in which directly axial tension is acted uh, so those are braced elements in your bridge bridges buildings etc so what are compression members compression members are those elements along with your load even comp axial compression force will also acts best example is columns your flexural elements or flexural members or those members which are acted together by tension members and compression members beams so beams are the best examples so for these various types of steel structures like tension members compression members and flexural members we use connectors these connectors are rivets bolts welds and pins let us discuss about connectors in connectors the first one is rivets so these are made up of mild or uh, high tensile round ductile round ductile steel bars called as shank with head one end so these rivets are designed based upon designed based upon is specifications given as 1929 1982 so the diameter of this rivets are called as nominal diameter so the dia of rivets are called as nominal diameter so what are rivets so rivets are made up of mild high tensile round ductile steel bars are called as shank with one head at one end the these are designed based upon is 1929 1982 the diameter of rivets are called as nominal diameter so these rivets are various types and they are classified based upon their heads as follows so let me sketch those sketches so this is called as head and this is dia so this is called as snap this is called as head pan and this is called as flat counter shank is called as round counter shank so these are the sketches of various types of rivets which are classified based upon their heads so this is called as head head of a rivet and this is called as a nominal dia nominal dia of the rivet so this is snap this is pan this is flat counter shank and there is round counter shank so rivets these are made up of high ten mild or high tensile round ductile steel bars called as shank with one head at one end so this is head at another end so another end is free another end is free so these are designed based upon is specifications given by 
1929-1982. So, the dia of rivets are called as nominal diameters. So, based upon your heads, they are classified into four types snap, pan, flat countershunk, and round countershunk.